Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. We are the temple of Yahshua. Our bodies is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Our faith is in the Holy Spirit. And our mission is to baptize in the water of his word. We give these weekly exhortations so that they will prosper the listeners. And our words of exhortation this week is open our eyes. And we're going to use St. John, the ninth chapter, as our outline. So now let us go to his throne of grace so he can prepare us for his precious word. Father God, we come to you, Father God. We come and empty us, Father God, as we come. Use us by your Holy Spirit, Father God. Lord, as we come, Lord, we thank you, thank you for life. Lord, this present that you have given us. And Lord, the hope for eternal life. We thank you, Father God, that you are a living God that we serve. Lord, that you are now reigning on your throne. And Father God, you are in control. Lord, we, we thankful, Father God, for you accepting us, Father God, you choosing us. We thank you, Father. Lord, as we come, Lord, with your precious word, Lord, sanctify us. Make us a sanctuary. We are flesh. Father God, but let your Holy Spirit speak through us and use us by your Holy Ghost. Father God, and the listener, Father God, put, prosper them, Father God. Prosper them. Give them, Lord, they petition. Lord, some is hungering and thirsting after, they, after righteousness. Lord, some want a healing, Father God, but we know you are a healer. Lord, but it, on their part, Lord, let them have faith and believe that you will heal. Because we already healed by your stripes. We are healed. Father God, let this word, Lord, be seed to the sower. Let it be bread to the eater. We know as it goes out, it goes out as snow, like snow and rain. When it comes forth, it causes things to come forth and bud. Lord, let your Holy Spirit, Lord, come and, and be in them, Father God, so they can bring forth fruit of the spirit of love and joy and peace and patience, gentleness and meekness and goodness. Father God, having self-control and faith, Father God, we're grateful for your fruits of your spirit, Father God. And we know, Father God, that you are a spirit, and Lord, take us out of our flesh. Some of these things we say is hard for people to see and believe. But as we ask in today, Father God, we ask them to open our eyes. Father God, let them, whoever you to hear, hear what the Spirit has to say to the church. These blessings we ask in Yahshua, Jesus Christ's name. Amen and amen. Open my eyes that I may see glimpses of truth thou hast for me. Bless in my hands the wonderful key that shall unclubs and set me free. Silently now I wait for thee. Ready, my God, thy will to see. Open my eyes, illumine me. Spirit divine, open my ears that I may hear. Voices of truth thou sendest clear. And while the wave notes fall on my head, everything falls will be. Brothers and sisters, open our eyes. 
As our outline, we're going to use St. John, the ninth chapter. And it thinks of, it, it talks about the miracle of Jesus opening a blind man's eyes. It also talks how he did this on a Sabbath day. And it goes on and shows us how when your eyes is open, how you become an ambassador to Christ. And finally, how we change this physical eye opener to spiritual today, how we open our spiritual eye. St. John, the ninth chapter. It states as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Brothers and sisters, it's back in those days, and it's still true today, that sickness sometimes come from sin. Micah states that in Micah 6.13. He said, Therefore also will I make thee sick in smithing thee and make thee desolate because of thy sins. Sin, brothers and sisters, can cause sickness. And sometimes it comes straight from God. He tells us in Hebrew 12 and 6, he said, Whom the Lord loveth, he chastens and scourges every son whom he receives. He even told the man one time that to sin no more, least a worse thing would happen to you. He told that at the man at the pool of Bethesda, St. John 5.14. Paul himself, he had a sickness and he prayed that the Lord would take it away. But sometimes the Lord give us sickness to humble us. In 2 Corinthians 12 and 8th and ninth verse, Paul talked about this. How he said, I besought the Lord thrice that it might depart from me, this ailment that he had. But God told him, my grace is sufficient for thee. He said, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Sometimes he have to weaken us to to get a, we have to get over our conceitness and our pride. Paul said, most gladly, therefore, I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Now let's get back to this miracle that Yah have done here. And he, as they was asking him, who sinned? And sometimes sin is it don't come or sickness do not come because someone sinned. Jesus said, neither had this man sinned nor his parents, but that the work of God should be made manifest in him. Yahshua is about to work. He goes on and said, I must work the work of him that sent me while it is day. He said, the night cometh when no man can work. He said, as long as I'm in the world, I am the light of the world. And then when he said these things, he, he made a, some clay and he put it on this blind man's eyes. And he said to him, 
go wash in the pool of Siloam. Brothers and sisters, that's what we are telling us today. Go and wash. Today we want to have our spiritual eye open. It takes us to wash. Wash for yourself. Don't have others tell you what the scriptures say. Read it for yourself. His words is what clean us. He says in St. John 15 and 3, you are clean by my word. And once we get clean by his word, brothers and sisters, we come out seeing like this blind man had been dead. And when he came out seeing a lot of people, his neighbors, they didn't believe him. Was this the man that sat by and begged? But the blind man says, I am he. Yes, this is me. He was once blind, but now he can see. And they begin to inquire how he received his sight. And he was telling them about this man called Jesus, Yahshua the Messiah. How he made clay and anointed his eyes and told him to go and wash. Today we, is, we are doing the same thing, telling, telling you all to go and wash. Wash for yourself. Wash. Don't listen to others. Wash the things that we say. Follow the scriptures. Once we become washed, we be changed like this blind man was. We don't no longer have to sit around and beg. We are sitting around and begging today because we're not washed in his word. And it's easy, brothers and sisters. We all can read. And that's, good. that's a blessing in itself. And we even have others that can read to us. They even have audio books today. There's no excuse. Wash so we can come to, to see. So then they brought him to the religious world, the religious world today. We have the religious world out here today. And the religious world today is out just to condemn instead of seeing how this brother has now received his sight. And they was more disappointed because he did this on the Sabbath day. And it was so stuck on the Sabbath. And yes, we do serve the Sabbath. But the Sabbath is a day for us to concentrate on God. Give him a day of concentration. But we can deal, still do good things. And we can work on the Sabbath. Because Jesus worked on the Sabbath. He said, I must work the work of him that sent me. He actually worked on the Sabbath. So brothers and sisters, the Sabbath is spiritual today. We, we concentrate on him in the spirit that whole day. We use it for... Temperance, self-control, so the things that we do all during the week, we give it up to let him know that he is number one in our life. So the Pharisees asked the man again, how was he healed? And he told them, the same story how he anointed his eyes and told him to go and wash and wash. They even asked him a question. He said, what saith thy to, of him that he have opened thine eyes? And brothers and sisters, this, this brother's eyes was open. 
He proclaimed Christ. When we get our eyes open, brothers and sisters, we, we're going to proclaim him. He said, when you are filled with the Holy Ghost, you full up means that some coming out. And he said he is a prophet. He did not deny Christ. He did not deny Yahshua. Because at that time, if you accepted Christ, they wouldn't allow you in the synagogue. They, they would throw you out. But this man didn't care. He's going to proclaim Christ. And we're going to proclaim Christ no matter where we are. They was so perplexed, they say, let's ask his parents. And they went and to the blind and called, they called the parents of him that received the sight. And his parents says uh, to them, yes, this is our son. He was born blind. But we now see that he have his sight. And again, they was afraid of the people and they wouldn't admit Christ. They, they said he is of age and he can speak for himself. Because they didn't, anyone who would confess that, that he was Christ would have been put out the synagogue, worrying about man's honor instead of God's honor. Yahshua talked about this in St. John 5, 44. He said, how you believe which receive honor one of another and seeketh not the honor that come from God only. So they go back to this blind man and asked him again and he 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 is prophesying and he is preaching he is telling them he said and they even said he was a sinner because he was he healed on the sabbath but he 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 stood up and he he answered and said whether he be a sinner or no he he, he said this is what he's saying he said i know not he said, one thing I do know, that whereas I was blind, now I see. Brothers and sisters, we can have our eyes open, our spiritual eye open. He, he, and they, he said, I have told you already, and you did not hear. He said, he said wherefore would you hear it again? And he asked them, will you also be his disciples? And they got, they, they start to revile him, calling him a sinner because he was, he had this sickness. And he, he, and they said, we don't know where he come from. And this blind man saying, you supposed to be the spiritual leaders here. He said, why herein is a marvelous thing that you know not from whence he is. Yet he've opened my eyes. And he started to, to preach to them. He said, now we know that God here is not sinners. But if any man be a worshiper of God and does his will, him he hears. God hears, hears us. If, we, if you're doing a righteous life, God going to hear you, brothers and sisters. He said, since the world began, was it not heard that any man opened the eyes of one that was born blind. He said, this man was not of God. He could not do nothing. It made them so angry, they cast him out of their midst. He did not deny Yah. As Joshua said in Matthew 10.33, Whosoever shall deny me before men, him will also deny before my Father which is in heaven. Brothers and sisters, we have a God, we have a Christ, and we're gonna we're gonna proclaim him everywhere we go. 
And then when Yah heard that they had cast him out, he asked him, he found him, and he asked him, does I believe on the Son of God? And he said, Lord, I believe, he says, and he worshiped him. All God requires us to do, the brothers and sisters, is to believe. In St. John 6, 30, 29, he, he said, this is the work of God, that you believe on him who he has sent. Brothers and sisters, all we need to do is be washed and believe on him. And we will come out seeing. And he ended up saying, for judgment I have come into this world. And as we tell you today, brothers and sisters, Yahshua is the judge on the throne. You would see him at your last breath. People looking at the last days and, 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 and that he's going to come. You're going to see him at your last breath. We all live today. He said, I, he said, they, they which see not. And that's like, and that's how we talking to. We're not talking to the religious world today. We're talking to the regular people. So you can see. Because the religious people is that he said, they that would see might be made blind. The religious world today is blind, brothers and sisters. So Jesus now is turning that natural into spirit. And then some of the, the Pharisees asked to say, are we blind? And he says, if you was blind, you would have no sin. He said, but now you see, therefore, your sins remain. Brothers and sisters, let us humble ourselves so that our eyes will be open and we can see. Let us have benediction. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for your word. Father God, how you changed this natural healing to today to show that we have a spiritual healing. Father God, how we can... Have our spiritual eye open, Father God, by just reading the word ourselves and getting clean by your word. Father God, we know your word would not return you void, but it would accomplish the mission that you were sent. In. Now to him that is able to give you more than we can think or ask, according to the power that is within us, the mighty Yahshua the Messiah. May he be majesty, dominion, and power, both now and evermore. In Yahshua's Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen. Brothers and sisters, we are the Temple of Yah. Continue to pray for us as we pray for you. God bless you. Love with thy children, thus to share. Silently now I wait for thee. Ready, my God, thy will to see. Open my ears, illumine me. Spirit divine. Amen.